15 features total this evening, plus the grudge match between Bruce Vanderlaan and Tim Ice. Michael Mullen in the double zero. Landon Hathaway in the 10. Green flag. Here we go. And Chief starter Scotty Benlin not liking that start, so we'll try it one more time. So the youngest driver in the field, starting P1, Michael Mullen leads him on a four. Green, look out! Caden Johnson goes up on her roof of the number 10 machine. Little wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact there. Had Johnson going over on her roll cage. 6 year old Michael Mullen leads him on a turn four. Green flag, we're back underway. Battle for second, Landon Hathaway in the red tent. Troy Hoconson in the number six. Hathaway into the inside. Here comes Caden Johnson, the number 10 machine. She's up to third. Almost went over again. What's your leader, Landon Hathaway, the number 10? Troy Hoconson running second spot in the six. Battle for third, the double zero. Michael Mullen, the green 10, a Caden Johnson. Oh, hook bumpers there for a second. Johnson now finally clears Michael Mullen. Now she'll set her sights on your two leaders. Up front, the red number 10, Landon Hathaway, continues to show the way. Troy Hoconson riding second to number six. The six of Hoconson. A feature winner last month at Kellogg Arena in Battle Creek trying to reel in Hathaway. Halfway home, 10 in, 10 to go. Alex Sexton off the pace of the number nine machine. Caution flag will fly. Landon Hathaway, Troy Hoconson, Caden Johnson on a four, green flag, we're back underway. Hoconson looking to challenge Hathaway, but Caden Johnson not letting those two boys stray too far out in front of her. Landon Hathaway, your leader. Troy Hoconson trying to hold off Caden Johnson. Johnson did the beat in the inside. Nothing to it. Lab started to click off. If O'Connor or Johnson have anything left, they gotta show it. Five laps to go for Landon Hathaway in the red number 10. Heavy traffic in front of your leaders. Hathaway trying to get through. Heavy, heavy traffic. O'Connor and Johnson right there as well. Eighteen in, two to go for Caden for Landon Hathaway in the ten. Caden shots in third. Troy Hill cuts in second. The white flag comes out. One left to go for Hathaway. On a turn four, checkered flag. Landon Hathaway, your winner. Troy Hill cuts in second. Caden shots and comes home in third.
He'll have two opportunities. He'll also be in the light 160, heavy 160 combo feature a little bit later on this evening. Right next to him, last month's feature winner in Battle Creek, Reagan Powell on a 32 on a turn four. Green flag, we're racing. Caution right back out. Scotty Menlin not liking that starter initially, so we'll try it one more time. Turn four, green, here we go. Bird under the inside of Stahl, looking to take over that second spot. And he will chase Bird into second, but up front, Ashton Van Sparentak, your leader in the one. Berta right on the back bumper of Ashton Van Sparentak. Van Sparentak, your leader, Chase Berta, following his tire tracks around this 110th mile here at the Delta Bex Arena. Berta to the inside, going into three and four. Give the lead to Chase Berta in the 18. Berta, your leader, Van Sparentak second, battle for third through fifth. The orange one, a Ricky Stoll, the 32, a Reagan Powell, the 80, a Brandon Stoll. This time by halfway home, 10 in, 10 to go. Chase Berta looking for career win number 10 and the number 18. Field now pretty well spread out. No one's gone down a lap as of yet. As Brandon Stoll running in the fifth spot, some distance ahead of your race leader, Chase Berta in the 18. Berta continues the lead. Now the half a track on Ashton Van Sparentak. Berta gets by Stahl. He'll see two to go this time by. White flag is out. One to go for Chase Berta. For the 10th time in his Midwest Indoor Racing Series career, a feature win for Chase Berta. Ashton Van Smerentak comes home in second. Ricky Stahl will finish in third. Very quick, 20 laps, the quarter midget, senior Hondas. <laughs> 15 laps, the distance. On a turn four, green flag, here we go. Ethan Lamberson, your early race leader. Casey Smith, who won the heat race earlier, now back in the lead. Continuing where he left off from his heat race. Casey Smith, your leader in the number three. Ethan Lamberson second, and Cole Stanley third. Carson Hosovar, Chase Berto working their way through their fourth and fifth. Casey Smith continuing to show the way, the number three. Ethan Lamberson running second, the number eight. This time, halfway, eight in, seven to go.
Carson Hosevar with problems with the number 14 machine. Caution flag will fly. Hosevar well off the pace in the 14. On a turn four, green flag, we're back at it. Five laps to go, that time by Chase Berto works up the third down the 18. Casey Smith, your leader in the three, Ethan Lamberson riding in second. Two laps to go for the nine-year-old from Portland, Michigan. Casey Smith in the three, white flag, one to go. Well, Lamberson and Berta get together. Checkered flag will fly. Give the win to Casey Smith in a three. One to go at the line. Jerry Oser else in the 40. Bobby Stanley in the 12. Taylor Sexton the number seven. On a turn four, green flag, here we go. Jerry Oser else your leader, Bobby Stanley, right there in the number 12. Stanley looks to the inside, nothing doing Osterhaus, hanging on in that 40. Ten-year-old Jerry Osterhaus showing the way in the 40. Fifteen-year-old Bobby Stanley trying to reel in the ten-year-old, trying to get by. Laps continuing to click off. Jerry Osterhaus in search of his fourth feature win in a row. Bobby Stanley in search of his first Midwest Indoor Racing Series win. Five laps to go. Five laps to go for Jerry Osterhaus in the 40. Bobby Stanley to the inside. Give the lead to Stanley, but here comes Osterhaus, right back. Bobby Stanley trying to hang on to number 12. Two laps to go. White flag is out, one to go for Bobby Stanley, the number 12. Taylor Sexton in front of your leader, but out of four, checkered flag, Bobby Stanley, your winner. Jerry Osterhaus comes home in second, Taylor Sexton will finish in third. Nice round of applause for our quarter midget heavy Honda competitors.